Hi, this is Nina from Pestless Presales team, and today I'll be showing you how you can add a sensor manually in your PRDG installation. There are three different ways to add a sensor. So first, let's navigate to the device tree. So in this menu, you can choose either to add it through our little blue button here and say add sensor. You can also navigate to the sensor menu and say add sensor, or you directly select a device, perform a right click and also have the option to use add sensor. So we're gonna use our little button back here, press add sensor, and now you'll be redirected to a page which includes a device tree. This will also pop up if you chose to add the sensor from the sensor menu. Of course, this is not necessary when you perform the right click on a device because you already chose the, the device where you want to put the sensor on. So let's simply select one device and say continue. On this page now you have different options. If you already know what sensor you want to add, you can simply type it into the search bar here and the sensor will pop up. If you're not quite sure which sensor you want to use, you can use the categories up here to narrow it down. For example, I'm, I know I want to do the availability and uptime on this device and I want to do it on a Windows device. And now all my available sensors will be displayed down here. There's also different categories down here. The first category will show you the most popular sensors. The second category will show you all the eligible sensors. And down at the bottom, you will find grayed out sensors. Um, this usually means that either credentials are missing or it's not the right sensor type for this device. So let's simply use a pink sensor for this device by using the blue button back here. You're now directed to the sensor setting page. Um, for ping, it's pretty straightforward. You can also choose the different scanning intervals, but let's just create the sensor by clicking create. So now we see the grayed out sensor down here. Gray means there hasn't been any data pulled yet. So we're just gonna quickly navigate to the sensor. We're gonna force it to update. And now it's green. And this is how you add a sensor. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at Pessler.com. If you find this video helpful, feel free to like it and consider watching our other videos on our channel. If you still have questions, please contact support at Pessler.com. And always feel free to comment for feedback or suggestions for other topics. Thank you.